This is a Peltier device. When powered, it carries thermal energy from one side to the other, effectively cooling one down while heating the other up. It seems like a magical device, so how come they are not installed in every fridge? Turns out their efficiency is rather terrible. Peltiers create a lot of waste heat that needs to be removed. To test it, I attach a liquid cooler to one side and an aluminium plate to the other. After powering it with 12 volts, it draws roughly 3.5 amperes. The cooling effect is immediately visible. With one Peltier element, I was able to reach a temperature difference of around 30 degrees. This gave me an idea. If I were to cascade 7 of those devices together, I should technically reach minus 200 degrees, the boiling point of liquid nitrogen. I bought a bunch of Peltiers and started testing. The Peltier devices work based on the thermoelectric effect. It's stuffed with alternating semiconductors. One of the semiconductors has a higher electron energy level. So in order for the electrons to traverse from low to high, it consumes energy in form of heat, which is then released again at the next junction as it falls back to the lower level. With two Peltiers I reached a temperature difference of 50. But as soon as I stacked the third one on, the temperature didn't drop below 5 degrees anymore. So here's the catch. The second Peltier has to additionally pump the waste heat of the first one. And the third has to do that for the both the upper ones. The more heat a Peltier has to pump, the lower its temperature difference. And if the heat production exceeds its pumping capabilities, it will just heat the whole stack instead of helping. But there is a way around that problem. We use two Peltier to pump away the waste heat of the first one, and then four to pump away the waste heat of the whole previous stack. This should work as at the temperature delta of 25 degrees, Peltier produced an additional 1 watt of heat for each watt of heat pumped. So I ran the experiment. Instead of 4, I used 3 higher rated ones, as I like 2 big water coolers. I reached a delta T of 80 degrees. So in order to reach minus 200, I would need another 5 stages, which amounts to 30 Pelti devices. Also, they get less and less efficient as the temperature decreases. It's fair to say that it's practically impossible to produce liquid nitrogen from Peltier devices. They are still awesome to create things like mini fridges or an instant water cooler which might be one of my next projects.